Albert Leons Green, born April 13, 1946, often known as the Reverend Al Green, is an American singer, songwriter and record producer, best known for recording a series of soul hit singles in the early 1970s, including Take Me to the River, Tired of Being Alone, I'm Still in Love with You, Love and Happiness, and his signature song Let's Stay Together. Inducted to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 1995, Green was referred to on the museum's site as being one of the most gifted purveyors of soul music. He has also been referred to as the last of the great soul singers. Green was included in the Rolling Stone list of the 100 greatest artists of all time, ranking at number 65, as well as its list of the 100 greatest singers, at number 14. Topic Early life Albert Leons Green was born on April 13, 1946, in Forest City, Arkansas. The sixth of ten children born to Cora Lee and Robert G. Green, Jr., a sharecropper, Al began performing with his brothers in a group called the Green Brothers at around the age of ten. The Green family relocated to Grand Rapids, Michigan, in the late 1950s. Al was kicked out of the family home while in his teens, after his devoutly religious father caught him listening to Jackie Wilson, I also listened to Mahalia Jackson, all the great gospel singers. But the most important music to me was those hip shackin boys, Wilson Pickett and Elvis Presley. I just loved Elvis Presley. Whatever he got, I went out and bought. In high school, Al formed a vocal group called Al Green and the Creations. Two of the group's members, Curtis Rogers and Palmer James, formed an independent label called Hotline Music Journal. In 1968, having changed their name to Al Green and the Soul Mates, they recorded the song Backup Train, releasing it on Hotline Music. The song was a hit on the R&B charts. However, the group's subsequent follow-ups failed to chart, as did their debut album Backup Train. While performing with the Soul Mates, Green came into contact with Memphis record producer Willie Mitchell, who hired him in 1969 to be a vocalist for a Texas show with Mitchell's band. Following the performance, Mitchell asked Green to sign with his High Records label. Topic Career Topic Early success Having noted that Green had been trying to sing like Jackie Wilson, Sam Cooke, Wilson Pickett, and James Brown, Mitchell became his vocal mentor, coaching him into finding his own voice. Before releasing his first album with High, Green removed the final E from his name. Subsequently, he released Green is Blues 1969, which was a moderate success. His follow-up album, Al Green Gets Next to You 1971, featured the hit R&B cover of The Temptations' I Can't Get Next to You, recorded in a slow blues-oriented version. The album also featured his first significant hit, Tired of Being Alone, which sold a million copies and was certified gold, becoming the first of seven consecutive gold singles Green would record in the next couple of years. Green's next album, Let's Stay Together, January 1972, solidified his place in soul music. The title track was his biggest hit to date, reaching number one on both the Billboard Hot 100 and R&B charts. The album became his first to be certified gold. His follow-up, I'm Still in Love with You, October 1972, went platinum with the help of the singles Look What You Done For Me and the title track, both of which went to the top ten on the Hot 100. His next album, Call Me, April 1973, produced three top ten singles, You Ought to Be With Me, Call Me, Come Back Home, and Here I Am, Come and Take Me. 
Green's album Livin' For You December 1973, was his last album to be certified gold. In addition to these hit singles, Green also had radio hits with songs such as Love and Happiness, his cover of the Bee Gees, How Can You Mend a Broken Heart, Simply Beautiful, What a Wonderful Thing Love Is, and Take Me to the River, later covered successfully by new wave band Talking Heads and blues artist S.Y.L. Johnson. Green continued to record successful R&B hits in the next several years including Livin' For You, Let's Get Married, Charlilla Makes Me Happy, L-O-V-E Love and Full of Fire. By the time Green released the album, The Bell Album in 1977, however, Green's record sales had plummeted, partially due to Green's own personal issues during this time and his desire to become a minister. His last high records album, Truth in Time, was released in 1978 and failed to become a success. Two years later, he left High for Mer Records and recorded only gospel music for the next decade and a half. Topic gospel recordings Green's first gospel album, The Lord Will Make a Way, was released in 1980. The title song from the album would later win Green his first of eight Grammy Awards in the Best Soul Gospel Performance category. In 1982, Green co-starred with Patti LaBelle in the Broadway play, Your Arms Too Short to Box with God. His 1985 gospel album, He Is the Light reunited Green with Willie Mitchell while his 1987 follow-up, Soul Survivor, featured the minor hit, Everything's Gonna Be Alright, which reached number 22 on the R&B chart, his first top 40 R&B hit since I Feel Good in 1978. Topic return to secular music Green returned to secular music in 1988 recording Put a Little Love in Your Heart with Annie Lennox. Featured on the soundtrack to the movie, Scrooge, the song became Green's first top 10 pop hit since 1974. Green had a hit in 1989 with The Message is Love with producer Arthur Baker. Two years later, he recorded the theme song to the short-lived show Good Sports. In 1993, he signed with RCA and with Baker again as producer, released the album, Don't Look Back. Green received his ninth Grammy Award for his collaboration with Lyle Lovett for their duet of Funny How Time Slips Away. Green's 1995 album, Your Heart's in Good Hands, was released around the time that Green was inducted to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. The one single released from the album, Keep on Pushing Love, was described as invoking the original, sparse sound of his Green's early classics. In 2000, Green released his autobiography, Take Me to the River. Two years later, he earned the Grammy Lifetime Achievement Award and recorded a hit R&B duet with Anne Nesby on the song, Put It On Paper. Green again reunited with Willie Mitchell in 2003 for the album, I Can't Stop. A year later, Green re-recorded his previous song, Simply Beautiful, with Queen Latifah on the latter's album, the Dana Owens album. In 2005, Green and Mitchell collaborated on Everything's OK. His 2008 album, Lay It Down, was produced by Amir Questlove Thompson and James Poyser. It became his first album to reach the top 10 since the early 1970s. The album featured a minor R&B hit with the ballad, Stay With Me, by The Sea, featuring John Legend and also featuring duets with Anthony Hamilton and Corinne Bailey Ray. During an interview for promotion of the album, Green admitted that he would have liked to duet with Marvin Gaye, in those days, people didn't sing together like they do now, he said. In 2009, Green recorded People Get Ready with Heather Headley on the album, Oh Happy Day, an all-star music celebration. In 2010, Green performed Let's Stay Together on Later with Jules Holland. On September 13, 2018 Al Green released his first new recording in almost over 10 years. 
Before the next teardrop falls, most famously recorded by Freddie Fender in 1975, was produced by Matt Ross Spang and is part of Amazon Music's new produced by series. Topic Personal life On October 18, 1974, shortly after Al Green Explores Your Mind was released, Mary Woodson White, his girlfriend, assaulted him before committing suicide at his Memphis home. Although she was already married, White became upset when Green refused to marry her. She doused him with a pot of boiling grits while he was bathing, causing severe burns on Green's back, stomach, and arms, then killed herself with his .38 handgun. Police found a note inside White's purse that declared her intentions and her reasons. Green cited the incident as a wake-up call to change his life. He became an ordained pastor of the Full Gospel Tabernacle in Memphis in 1976. Continuing to record R&B, Green saw his sales start to slip and drew mixed reviews from critics. In 1978, Green was charged with battery for allegedly beating Lovey Smith unconscious with a tree limb. The charges were dismissed after Smith, who had moved, did not receive a subpoena and therefore missed the court date. In 1979, Green injured himself falling off the stage while performing in Cincinnati and took this as a message from God. He then concentrated his energies towards pastoring his church and gospel singing. His first gospel album was The Lord Will Make a Way. From 1981 to 1989 Green recorded a series of gospel albums, garnering eight soul gospel performance Grammy Awards in that period. In 1985, he reunited with Willie Mitchell along with Angelo Earl for He Is The Light, his first album for A&M Records. In 1984, director Robert Mugger released a documentary film, Gospel According to Al Green, including interviews about his life and footage from his church. In June 1977, Green married Shirley Kyles. Shirley filed for divorce in 1978 and 1981. In the final divorce complaint, Shirley alleged that Green had been subjecting her to domestic violence throughout their marriage. Green accused her of cruel and inhuman treatment in a countercomplaint. In a sworn deposition in 1982 as part of her divorce filing, Shirley testified that in 1978 while five months pregnant, Green beat her with a boot for refusing to have sex. The assault resulted in head wounds, one which required stitches. After the incident she filed for divorce, but they reconciled. According to Shirley, they separated several times when the beatings became too frequent and too severe. Initially, Green denied beating his wife, but under oath in 1982 he admitted to spousal abuse. Their divorce was finalized in February 1983. In 1995, the story of Nicole Brown Simpson inspired Shirley to go public with the abuse she endured in order to help other victims. Green has six children, two sons, Al Green Jr., and Trevor, four daughters, Alva, Ruby, Cora, with Shirley Kyles, and Carla. He resides and preaches in Memphis, near Graceland, while he is a member of the Prince Hall Masons, the African-American wing of Freemasonry. At the 33rd degree, Green's sister Maxine disappeared in September 2013 in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Discography Topic Awards and Honors Green was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 1995. In 2004, he was inducted into the Gospel Music Association's Gospel Music Hall of Fame. That same year, he was inducted into the Songwriters Hall of Fame. Also in 2004, Rolling Stone magazine ranked him number 65 on their list of the 100 greatest artists of all time. 
He was honored with a Lifetime Achievement Award at the 2009 BET Awards on June 24, 2009. On August 26, 2004, Green was honored as a BMI icon at the annual BMI Urban Awards. He joined a list of previous icon honorees that included R&B legends James Brown, Chuck Berry, Little Richard and Bo Diddley. In 2009, Al Green was inducted into the Michigan Rock and Roll Legends Hall of Fame. Green was recognized on December 7, 2014, as a Kennedy Center Honors recipient. Topic: See also List of best-selling music artists